I've kind of been in, in uh, the sexy uh, business all my life. We're here at Not Scary Farm, right outside Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. We're gonna head inside, talk to her, and then watch the show. So let's go. I never thought I would be on this sofa with the Elvira. But you know, this is cool. This is good too. I am here at Knott's Scary Farm backstage, if you couldn't tell, that's where I am, at Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, with Cassandra, who is Elvira. How did Elvira start? What's the beginning? Oh, Lordy, that was so long ago. It was like 36 years ago, and I started locally on television here at KHJ in Hollywood. And it was a little local show hosting horror movies. It just took off. It, it was crazy. It went from like an embarrassing job to a really <laughs> awesome job kind of overnight. I got to ask, because right over here, I see the sofa. Oh, yeah. The, the famous. This, this year, I pulled out all the stops. <laughs> this is my uh, sofa from Movie Macabre. And we use that on stage because it's kind of become iconic. Now, is, so. this, is this really the sofa? No. <laughs> I was no, lying. <laughs> this <laughs> sofa is actually in the Hollywood <laughs> Museum. Come with me out here. I have something cool. there that's the real thing. Ooh, okay. This is kind of my pride and joy. It is my macabre mobile, my 1959 oh. T-Bird. Would it drive? Like? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been in the museum a while, so I just had it all fixed up and tricked out with all my little gadgets. I had it reupholstered. I added all the little, yeah, here. all the little skulls. I have eyeballs here, my headlights. And of course the awesome spider web grill. And then we had this Elvira um, hood ornament made. So how much of Elvira is in Cassandra and Cassandra's in Elvira? I think somehow my teenage personality got stuck in Elvira and stayed there and I moved on and became an adult. When I want your opinion, I'll, uh, what will I do? I'll beat it out of you. How do you deal with being an icon? It's super fun. I mean, I love, I, I can't believe that I'm like an icon. Elvira is a very sexy, sexual character, but it's also clever and funny. Is that balance important to you? Just because you're sexy doesn't mean you're a bimbo. You can still have power. You can still be strong and still look sexy. Oh, thank you ever so. So I know that you have to run and go become Elvira. <laughs> uh, it'll take me about uh, two seconds. Showtime. Oh, great, that was fast. Let's hear it for my set. No, not that set, this set. You've been in comic books. You've been in a pinball game. Are you still the same girl from the sofa? I'm me. I'm spooky, sexy, and funny. That's me. You do something with your uh, <laughs> breast. I heard gasps behind me. <laughs> this men and women both like, oh. I know. That's it's weird. It was probably me gasping, but the fact <laughs> Just... that it actually still works after all those years. What's the craziest or most touching or just like a memorable fan interaction that you've had? One thing I remember is that a guy came up and said, my dad was your biggest fan. I brought his ashes and could you just sign them for me? And I was like, whoa, okay. And I signed better late than never. But that was very <laughs> touching, right? The first time I saw someone tattooed oh. um, with an Elvira tattoo. So that's kind of awesome because a tattoo doesn't wash off. That's with you forever. Is there anything on the Elvira bucket list? Anything you haven't conquered yet? Wow. Oh, my God. I think I've done everything. Probably twice. 